Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe. Hey, welcome back to another episode. So we all saw what happened last time with the uh, cockpit popping out. So I've been doing a little work here trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, one of my options here was I had a piece of EL tape. Uh, the problem with the tape here is while it fits inside the cockpit and it'll wrap around, it doesn't completely cover from top to bottom and you also have this edge connector here so when you wrap it around it would have to come through the front cockpit and inversely if you tried to do a strip on each side you have the connector in the rear which would interfere with the cockpit sitting against the back so there's really no room for EL tape um, I also messed with my EL paper again and heated it up to fold it more and um, trimmed it down and in the process of heating it up that actually killed it and it wasn't working anyway so ultimately what I decided to do was use a red three millimeter LED and just house it in the uh, wing housings here so putting in a red LED there you can see how it lights it up and um, Obviously, it's a bit harsh with the straight LED like that, and you got a major hot spot. But when you put the front on, it does work, lights it up, and it actually doesn't, even just like that, doesn't look that bad. So, what I did is I printed out a little piece of paper with just red ink to diffuse the light and just make it a nice vibrant red as you can see there that diffuses it a little bit and makes it a little more it's not so harsh spreads it out a little more evenly not as much of a hot spot there I've taped a piece of paper on either side here as you can see and what's nice about doing it this way is even when it's not turned on you still have the red behind there so that's kind of a bonus there that you get the red even when it's not turned on but I got those glued in place and then I painted the inside of the housings white just to bounce the light around more and try to you know diffuse it and reflect it as much as possible to make it as even as possible and you can see here with just a dry fitting of the front on when I turn on the LED it's a lot less harsh and it's a lot more evenly lit there so I think this is just going to work out fine. wasn't my original plan, but I think it's going to work. So I've taken my LED here and I've soldered on some longer leads to go through my tubing. And um, I'm just going to use a dab of hot glue here in the housing for the wing. And I'm just going to uh, press my LED into place and let the hot glue hold it for me. I'm going to pinch my wires back the other direction so they can come right back through and go out the bottom of my cockpit. And you can see the LED just to test and it still works just fine. So I've got both sides glued in place now and again always testing everything after it's done. Both of them are working just fine. I've also cut out little strips of styrene and glued them to the inside edge around here because in a dry fit there's a lot of light leakage there. And you may also notice there against the back side of the paper there's actually, believe it or not, a couple small pieces of layers of napkin that I glued to the back because of the soft texture of the napkin and diffuses the light a little bit more makes it softer. And then I also took some putty and put some putty on either side, painted it black to block light from going in through the wings. 
And then I also went through and I painted those strips of styrene that I had black. And all this will block the light from coming through the seams when the front and back are put together. So it's time to put this into position here. And I'm going to press it on there. I do have a little bit of super glue. Not a lot, but just at certain points to hold it in place. Now this together, testing my lasers, which are still working fine. Uh, tested the engines, they're fine. And a test of the cockpit, and it's fine. So the whole thing is together, and all my LEDs are working as planned. And you can see here, there's all my wires, which will come out through my tubing on the bottom. But I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. There's a couple little light spots there, but those will be covered up by the pieces that go there. And here are those two little pieces that go in these little spots here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of super glue here and just put it around the edge and glue the piece into position. And then I'm going to do the same with the other side using my little... Uh, glue applicator here. I'm just going to put a little dab of super glue on there and then glue the other piece into position. Alright, now it's time to take these little guys which go in on either end for the wings and you just slide them into position and they also kind of cover the outside edge and lock the uh, front and rear pieces of the housings together. And now I've got my wings here, and it's time to put them on. So as with the uh, other little pieces, I'm just going to use my applicator here and do a little bit of super glue around the edges here to hold it in place. And I got the first one glued on, as you can see here. And it's time to move on to the next piece. And these glue applicators are great. It's called the Glue Looper. Uh, you can pick them up through my Amazon storefront, which is in the link in the notes of my video, and you can uh, find it there. And it just works by capillary action and draws the glue into the tip, and it's nice and small and easy to apply little bits of glue where needed. And then it's time for the uh, front of the cockpit. And for this, I'm just going to put a little dab of super glue in the top. I'm not going to go all around the edge just in case for any reason I need to pull it off which I should never have to because it's not in the way of anything anyway. But I'm just going to do a little dab of glue to hold it in place. Alright and then the final piece here, the top. This will not be glued. This is just going to sit there in case I ever want to pull it off to look inside. But there you have it pretty much assembled other than the bottom, which I'll do later. And there it is lit. And I like the way this has turned out. You know, some people in old videos have asked me about putting the plastic glass in. And the reason I don't, as you can see here, so it makes it more difficult to see inside the cockpits. You get reflections from outside lights. It makes it just, it's not as clear. You know, if I pull it off here, it's nice and easy and bright to see inside. So it's just a choice I make not to use the plastic glass, which is the way they actually do it for the filming miniatures. So anyway, thanks for joining me again. Um, that's it. Finally got my cockpit lit. All my LEDs are working. Uh, next, I'm ready to move on to mounting and my electronics inside of my base. And then uh, we'll be getting down to the point of the final reveal. So uh, thanks again for watching.